Hi everyone, it's Gwen from Hummingbird Tarot, and today I'm doing a video response to Meadowlark Mystic, and this is the hashtag Rainbow Decks. And this, you just basically go through all the colors of the rainbow, and whatever deck you associate with that color, that's the, the deck that you place in that color spot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell so you're notified every week when I upload a new video. I'm going to start off with red. And I'm going to do a tarot deck and an oracle deck for each of these. So red, this deck here, it sits up on my tarot shelf and I have it facing out like this. And this deck almost has like a pulse. I can feel the energy coming off of this deck and it, it definitely is a red color. And this is, drumroll, the Aleister Crowley Thoth Tarot. This is the large size deck, and this one's a fairly old one. The box, you can tell, it's, it's pretty well loved, but the cards themselves are in great shape. I've had this deck for a while, and this is, I wanna say 1990s. What's the date on this one? I'm not saying a date, so let's check the box. Nineteen eighty-six. Okay, a little bit older than that. Nineteen eighty-six. So, um, that's just your your standard Thoth tarot, the back there, and then the cards themselves are the standard images. But this particular deck, apart from any other Thoth deck that I've seen, and perhaps it's just this cover that I have here on it. But this cover, for whatever reason, the energy that radiates from this deck is just crazy. And typically I use this deck um, because it's so large, it's harder to handle. So I don't use it for readings. I use it more of a study deck when I'm wanting to get closer to the images and, and spend time sitting down with them and visiting them. That's what I use this deck more for. But I also uh, think it adds a great energy to my tarot space and I have it up on the shelf uh, leaning against the books with this image facing out because of the, the energy that's coming off this deck. I think it just adds something interesting to my space and the room that it's in. And if you don't have this deck, even if you don't aren't super interested in studying the Thoth version, I think it's good to at least get one deck of this or get a book that looks at both the Thoth versus the um, Rider Wright Smith. And I'm trying not to damage my box here, putting this back away. I guess I shouldn't matter too much about it because the box is already destroyed, huh? It's good to study more than one system of tarot. I think it adds to your knowledge base that you have in your first system that you learned. It can only strengthen the knowledge that you have and, and add to the depth of the readings that you give. And I'm going to actually do an oracle deck as well for each of these colors. So the one I wanted to look at that's red is the Shamanic Medicine Oracle cards. And these also, I feel like they have an energy uh, this, it's more the cards themselves, and I like to have these cards, I'll put them up on uh, a shelf, I'll do, you know, maybe one or two cards that I'll pull out, or I'll do when I'm wanting to infuse the energy of something into, let's say if I'm making Florida water, or some other kind of ritual that I'm doing, uh, where I'm trying to pull the energy of the cards into whatever it is that I'm doing. Uh, this is a great deck to use for that, that just, again, the energy, for me, when I feel when I think of red, I'm thinking of, you know, really strong passion, feelings, energy, high energy coming off of something. And this is another deck. And I think I showed you the back of these. Yeah. This deck really has the, the energy of the color red to me as well. So for the color orange, I've seen several other people 
include their Halloween tarot as theirs. And I couldn't, I, I tried to not duplicate what everyone else was doing and then I just decided to turn off what everyone else was doing and do what means these colors to me. So uh, orange for sure, I definitely associate with Halloween and this particular deck is just such a fun deck and it really, the color orange makes me think of pumpkins and celebrating Halloween and getting dressed up. It's such a, a really fun, playful deck. Definitely still has the traditional images of Rider Waite Smith. So you can see those and feel those meanings through each of the cards that you look at in the deck. And I find it easy to read because of that. And it's also fun, this, this time of year as we're going into fall now, just has such a different energy than the other seasons that I find it fun and appropriate to read with my decks that I associate with that season. Again, uh, so my Oracle deck for the color orange is Notes from the Universe on Abundance, and this is by Mike Dooley. And these are just little notes of encouragement from the universe. So when you're looking for encouragement or a message, this is a good deck to go to. And I definitely feel the color orange. This is a uh, high energy, warm, comforting. That's what I associate with the color orange here. The cards, they have quite a bit of uh, wording on each of the, the cards. So let me read one to you. Every fortune, gold medal, and trophy, every comeback, triumph, and celebration, and every kiss, hug, and hand held was first a thought, a whisper, or a dream. Go from the universe. So it's just very encouraging. Talking you, trying to talk you into taking that chance, having confidence in yourself, feeling good about your ideas. Very a very inspiring and supportive deck and I really appreciate that about this deck here. So for yellow I have the Spirit Within and the reason that I have this one for yellow, this is the Spirit Within Tarot, is because yellow always makes me think of sunsets and this deck has silhouettes in it, the whole deck is and uh, so I think of silhouettes and the color yellow associated with this deck. I love this deck. It's definitely got diversity in the deck because it's hard to tell what nationality the person is from. So you can incorporate whatever nationality you want into these cards. And then some of the cards you can see perhaps look like someone might be black or Asian or white. So there, there is a definite representation of uh, people from various races in here and socioeconomic standings based on, you know, really higher end clothes um, or standing with just maybe a loincloth on. So it's just a, a variety there. And this deck is very comforting and inspiring as well. It's a very positive deck. And I really like that about this. Definitely encourage you to get this deck if you, if you don't have it yet. Here's what the back of this deck looks like. So this is my yellow tarot deck. And my yellow oracle deck is by Denise Lynn. This is the Native Spirit Oracle Cards. And again, when I think of a sunset, I, always, I think of this image a lot here. This really drew me in. That's the back of the cards. This has a great guidebook that comes with it that just goes into a little bit more detail about each of the cards. And typically when I use this deck, if it's been a while, I may have to use the guidebook when I'm doing the readings. So this is, this is the back of the deck here. And then the cards themselves only have the keywords. So you can use the keywords and just the images to read if you wanna read intuitively, or you can look up what owl medicine might mean in the book here. So let's take a look and it's alphabetized. So owl medicine. The card meaning wisdom, illumination, intuition, clairvoyance, and deep insight abound. Go within. Profound majesty and grace is available to you simply by pulling your awareness inward. And then it um, 
goes into what your native spirit wants you to know. And it says, um, in some indigenous cultures, the men say that they are afraid of the owl because it represents the power of woman and they're in awe of and even afraid of the power of women. Other native cultures call the owl the night eagle for it has the majesty of the eagle but works silently in the darkness of night. In Western cultures, the owl sits on the shoulder of Athena and also of Merlin, revealing sacred truths. When this card chooses you, you are at the advent of a time of illumination and transformation. And then it gives you what the journey is for this card. In a meditative state, imagine that you have shape-shifted into an owl and you are soaring silently through the night. Your ability to see, even in the darkness, is remarkable. This corresponds with your ability to perceive the truth, even in murky situations in life. So it's a very magical and moving deck. Every time I read it, it's definitely a very spiritual experience. And I've read this deck using all the different ways that I just talked about. But sometimes um, I just usually go with my gut. Sometimes I just look at the images and sometimes I'll sit down and I'll just study and spend time with one card. And it all depends on what I'm in the mood for that day, what I'm being called to do. So I'll just take you through some more of these cards if you haven't seen a walk through this deck before. It's really a great deck. And you can see the pictures are just breathtaking in all of the cards as well. So those were my yellow. My green tarot deck is the Spirit Song Tarot by Pauline Cassidy. This comes with a guidebook as well that's a little bit more detailed than a miniature white book might be, you know, the little white book that comes in a tuck box. And they do have keywords, a reverse message, reversed keywords, and what the message of that particular card is and, and what the energy of the animal that's on that card represents. So you, as you can see from the box here this is a drawn image and it's an elephant on here and there's all kinds of extra decoration on the animal itself and these cards are stunning really beautiful somebody definitely spent some time drawing these there's the magician hanged man there's a whale for the world the six of acorns success and triumph. So there are key words on the cards themselves as well. So if you know your, your animals and you can connect the energy of whatever animal it is that you're looking at, you can do that. If you um, want to just look at the key words, you can in this deck, but it's just such a beautiful deck. And you really could, I mean, each, each one of these pictures is really a piece of art that you could put up on your wall in a frame. Very pretty deck. There's the back of the deck there. And then my my green oracle deck is the Spirit of the Animals Oracle by Jody Bergsma. This one also has a nice big book and it's interesting to me that both of my decks that I chose for green are animal decks so here's what the back of these Oracle cards look like and these are definitely these are really big but they're fairly easy to shuffle because the cardstock is kind of thin there's a buffalo an eagle a wolf and a bear on the other side and the images in here are drawn as well and this has a lot of information on the card. You've got the pictures of the animals and the scene that you can pull from. There are some keywords here. So it says squirrel, always prepared. And then there's information about, additional information and energy about that particular animal or creature that's being mentioned there. And you can see the cards are just really beautiful in this deck also. And again, you could probably frame any of these cards. Very beautiful deck. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll flip through 
this deck and I'll look for a specific energy that I'm trying to channel and focus on and attract and I'll pull a particular card out and set that up to help uh, focus on and work with the law of attraction and manifest that energy in uh, a particular project that I'm working on or just for a day or if I'm feeling like I'm needing some extra, extra inspiration or some specific thing that I'm feeling a lack of, I will go to this deck and I can look and find, you know, if I'm, look, if I'm looking for abundance, I may pull the buffalo card or the bison, sorry, the bison card and uh, focus on abundance and sit with the card for a few moments and then put the card up on my bookshelf so that I see it every time I pass it and it helps me focus on attracting the abundance that I'm looking for. So that's how I use this deck here. And those were my greens. So my blue tarot deck that I keep in this bag here is actually, it's also called Llewellyn's Classic Tarot Deck. And I have it in this kit called Tarot Made Easy. And this comes with a book in here. And this is one of my favorite, as far as the backs go for a tarot deck. Love the backs of these cards. And then I colored the sides to match the back. And this is a tarot deck. And I like this deck because it's very approachable and low key. It's got your traditional Rider Waite Smith images in here, but they're just redrawn, a little more contemporary than some of the other images, and yet still kind of in the same time period in some ways as well. Uh, one of the things that I noticed is the, there's barbed wire on the Three of Hearts, which you know, there wasn't barbed wire back then, but you know there's there's little things like that that don't quite go with the time period, but that doesn't seem to bother me because, again, like I said, I find this deck so approachable and down to earth. And it's easy easy for me to read. It, it's very clear and straightforward. I found it, oh, there's three parts I was talking about. Um, clear, straightforward in its answers, and you don't have to work too hard when you're doing a reading with this deck. And then my oracle deck that I'm using are the Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. And this definitely has blue energy. There's actually a really nice guidebook that's got a lot of information in here about the deck and each of the cards. You can see what how many pages was that? 176 pages. So pretty impressive. And if you look, you know, just one card for 27 walking away, we've got four, four pages, basically three and a half pages for that one card. So there's some extra studying that you can do there. And then the cards are, you know, they've got the keywords on there and then they also have an image on there. There is a lot of connection to the tarot in this. So you can see this might be like the Ten of Cups. And then, But there's a keyword on here. So attachment, hostilities, woman holding a coin, man holding a coin, the third chakra, walking away, indecision, So you can use these if you ask a question just to get them answered. You can use it in conjunction with a deck of tarot cards. You can use it to help you figure out something to focus on, uh, to give you some direction to change what you're seeing in the tarot deck. Okay, what's our next step? What, what can we do to move forward from this? So you can use it in that way. There's a lot of different ways you can use this deck. So that is my blue. My purple is the Crystal Visions Tarot. It's 
very much the purple deck. You can see there's the back of the deck and then all of the cards in here, very, very purple feeling. Take a look at that, just very much in that color scheme. And I love this deck. This is one of my favorite decks. It's very soft, ethereal feeling. Very much a female deck. And the images are a little softer than your standard Rider Waite Smith. There's the tower. But still right in line with Rider Waite Smith. And it's really a beautiful deck. It has a very magical spiritual feel to it as well. I like using this deck for romance and relationship readings. So that's my purple tarot deck. And then my last purple deck is my Sacred Traveler Oracle deck here. And this right here, this, it's so purple. And this is a deck that I almost always have out and it just screams the color purple to me. It's a beautiful finish. There's like a matte rose petal finish on here. This is another uh, Denise Lynn deck. She's a favorite of mine. And I like that the images in here, they're, it's very uh, inclusive and diverse as far as race and culture go. And it's got keywords at the top and also at the bottom. And you can use the words that are on here. You can completely ignore them and just pay attention to the picture that's on here. But I also like the drawing style here. There's a phoenix transformation. Um, it's just very soft. And then this deck as well is a very supportive and positive, comforting deck. And I like to use this one actually for one card pulls for myself. I probably use it for that more than anything. And I have my hands. I've, I, I've, this deck has been in constant rotation either for on my tarot shelf that I'm using for readings when I do readings for others or when I am doing readings for myself. It's either in one area or the other just because I find it so powerful and inspiring. And this will be a deck that I might ask for, you know, what do I need to know? Especially if something is upsetting me, what do I need to know about this situation? What do I need to focus on to overcome this? And it helps me get into a positive frame of mind and get past whatever it is that's challenging me at the time. Those are my purple decks. I hope you enjoyed this as much as me. It was really fun. I had a great time uh, going through and taking a look at all of my decks, and I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you on the next one.